Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dexter Axle Trailer Idler Axle Beam with the Easy Lube Spindle at 60 inches long, offering a 2200 pound capacity. Its part number is T20BTR-EZ-6048. Now to verify that this is going to be the appropriate axle replacement for you, there are two measurements that you want to get. The first they call spring center, so that's going to be from the center of the spring on this side to the center of the spring on the other side. This axle offers a 48 inch, what they call spring center to spring center measurement, so you want to make sure that yours matches that. The second is going to be the hub face to the hub face. So you want to get this measurement while the hubs are still on the axle. You're going to measure from the flat spot where your rim makes contact with the hub to that same spot on the opposite side. What we're looking for is 60 inches. Now to install the spring on your axle, we're going to use U-bolts to connect it so our spring is going to fit around the underside. We'll have a plate to go underneath and two U-bolts to hold it. Now we recommend using a new U-bolt kit. The larger hole in the middle is going to accept that small tab that sticks off there. The top portion of the bolt fits right into the bottom. Our spring perch there. Bring that through and then we'll just take the provided nuts. We'll snug these down once we have our axle in position and we know that it's hanging the way we want it. Now we can get our axle put up in position once we have that done on each end. You'll see here on the back side is going to be the area the slipper portion will slide into and then we'll rotate it up into position and we'll use our bolt here in the front. So we just want to rotate that up into position. And once we align our hole, we can slide through our bolt. You can see that's going to fit right through that bracket up here on the spring eye. We'll go through our bracket, through the spring eye, come out on the inside. Just want to keep in mind, you do want a little bit of movement. You don't want to squeeze that bracket down so tight that it's pulled against the side of the springs. You want those to be able to move a little bit. Now on the back side of the bolt, right there at the head, you'll see the splines that are on it. Those are designed to engage the bracket and keep our bolt from turning. So you don't want to turn the bolt side. We're going to tighten this down using the nut side only. Now once the spring eye bolts are in place, just want to kind of tap your axle and make sure that your U-bolts are sitting straight up and down and we'll start to tighten these down evenly. Now we're going to go to each one and we're going to begin to torque them down. Now typically what you're looking for is torque to yield is what they call. So we're going to torque these just until we see our, our plate start to deform just slightly. That'll give us the proper tension on those U-bolts so we won't have to worry about them backing off. That's gonna complete our installation of the Dexter Trailer Idler Axle Beam with the Easy Loop Spindle, part number T20BTR-EZ-6048.